Hi everyone, welcome back to another journal flip through. I know I just uploaded one but I realise that I've completely read through this and covered bits up that I don't want you to see so I might as well do a second flip through because why not. Um, this is a leather bound journal and I think I got it because Cassandra May had a leather bound journal and I really wanted one so I just kind of copied her. Um, this is a quote that I wrote on the front in white pen and this, I don't know if you can really see, is like a temporary tattoo and it didn't really work but you can still kind of see it. Um, during this journal I started getting really really bad depression, like this is kind of where it really started to um, develop, I don't know if that's the right word but so I don't really, I don't know, there's not much to show in here but I'll show what I've got. Um, so I was 16, wow, and this is the inside cover, which is kind of ironic because I'm really into Buddhism right now and this was done like, what, 2016? And it's now 2020, so that's kind of cool. And this is a picture of a finch because if you've ever read the book, um, All the Bright Places, the character Finch is like one of my favourite characters and I relate to him so much, so... That's why that's there. <laughs> Here we have some song lyrics that I just felt like I related to. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of variety. I didn't use to decorate as much as I do now. Um, and obviously, for some reason, when you've got a lot on your mind, as in like depression or you're sad or something has happened, there's a lot more to write about. Um, yeah, more song lyrics that I, that I related to. Swatches of all my nail polishes. Or I think I was having a, a summer clear out or something and those were the ones I was getting rid of. Those are the ones I was keeping. And then these are just random things that I found in my room to stick in. So we've got Nintendo DSi games and yeah, random stuff. Because that's what a journal is for. Uh, pictures of my dogs, that's Charlie, that's Millie, she's passed away now, bless her. Um, Charlie still lives, he's still kicking, but he's quite old now, he's 12. Um, this was when we went on holiday to Italy, after I'd just finished my GCSEs. These are just some doodles I did in the hotel the night before we went on our flight to Italy. We went to... Um, Sorrento because my family on my mum's side is from there. Um, I've got a bit of Italian in me, but yeah. Um, sketchbook page that I stuck in here for I don't know why. Tickets. Oh, this is when we went to Pompeii. And I wish I could do it all over again because I was dissociating the entire time and I've honestly blocked it all from my memory. Like, I, I know I've got all this writing, but it's mostly like oh I don't feel anything and I mean look at this I made a list of things that I am enjoying about Italy because I was trying to focus on the positive but I was so deep into depression that I don't know it's a little train thing Oops. but yeah Italy is lovely expensive but it's really nice um, I will go back one day, <laughs> I'm determined, but it was really nice because I got to see some of my family members, um, that was our hotel that we stopped in, and that was the boarding pass on the way back. wanted a guitar apparently at this time random picture of me this was a boy that I fancied which is really embarrassing but come on I was a teenager and then this was like a makeup filter and I thought it was really funny so I just took some pictures random pictures of you know <laughs> using the app or the filter or whatever it was and this was from my college sending out a postcard um 
to the students that were going to be joining in September. And then these are just pictures. This is actually um, a pet shop. They do like um, really exotic, well, not exotic, like, what's the word? Aquariums with like saltwater animals. And that is not a good, marine life, that's what I'm trying to say. They do like marine life instead of just like tropical fish and whatever. So for me, it was like going to a zoo, it was incredible. Um, of course I went all weeby about this. Ooh, I want to see Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. A lot of people don't like Suicide Squad, but I quite like it. I love the Joker, so. This was me. You got completely soaked through on this walk. And that's me and my grandpa being idiots. <laughs> of me just being uh, depressed <laughs> but trying to feel alive at the same time am I talking too fast please let me know because I really struggle with my speech and I don't know if anyone can understand what I'm saying um here I cut my hair off for charity and um I raised money but I also gave it to um the little princess trust who make the hair into wigs for children with cancer um, I don't know if this is offensive or not, but everyone said that I kind of look like Hazel Grace from um, Fault in Our Stars, so I used my headphones to make it look like the thing and then took pictures with my friends and yeah, I'm sorry if that's offensive, but I don't know. That's what teenagers do, I guess. Here I decided to try and have a sort of Japanese festival, but I was the only one that really cared about it because I'm the only weave in my family, but whatever, I tried. So I just took pictures. Um, I tried to make, oh, I don't know how to say it, onigiri, onigiri, however you say that. But I made way too much rice and no one else wanted it but me. And I only had like one of them. I felt so bad for wasting all the food, but oh well, you're living you learn. Um, That was the recipe that I followed. <laughs> and then I actually made this little... This was a bamboo plant that we already had and then I just decorated it with the little wishes and stuff. But again, I was the only one that wrote any wishes. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Is it Tanabata? I was probably completely wrong, but whatever. And I just saved a couple of them. Oh, these pages are really difficult to turn. And here, okay, so you know in the last video I said we went to Whitby? Well, here we went to Whitby again. Whitby is one of my family's favourite places to go on a holiday in the UK. Um, I've got so many happy memories there and this is when we went this year. And I think this was when Snapchat came out, or rather I got Snapchat for the first time. That was me reading in the rocking chair. That was the view from our converted bar house. Um, got a new journal, which is the next one that you'll see. And like I said, I got really bad depression at this time and we went with my family and my family noticed like it was, it was not hard to miss. And my auntie got me this card um, to say like, we're here for you and everything, which is really nice, but yeah. Me and my dad played crazy golf twice. Of course, he won both times. And um, these are just bits and bobs from the amusements or arcades where you get the 2P machines and stuff. These are from Chopsticks. Oh, I remember, and this is when Pokemon Go came out. So a lot of the like prizes were Pokemon related. So I got these two Pokemon cards. And I got an Eevee little plushy thing. Um, and I got a guitar <laughs> from a charity shop. Um, I no longer have this one, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I do still have a guitar. And that was a, a string that snapped off the first time I tried to play it because it was really cheap and old. But yeah, it's good for me. And then these are just some pictures of a place called Foss Falls in Whitby. 
it's really really beautiful I mean look at that that is oh, it's so picturesque oh and I took a picture of some books that I bought because I'm literally a book hoarder <laughs> this is when I ordered some more guitar strings for the one that broke and it came with or I ordered these as well <laughs> it's like a family inside joke minions. Uh, these are my GCSE results which I won't show but yeah. And then this is when I had to enrol into the college and I actually filled in the first form wrong and I had to do it again and my anxiety level was through the roof. It was ridiculous. I mean look at that. I fucked up. <laughs> True. Oh. <laughs> Random pictures of me and my friends. Trying to enjoy the last of summer. This is a random card that I had. Random things I stuck in. I think these were things that I had like stuck on my wall, maybe. That I was changing up my room or something, I don't remember. Um, here is where I really started getting into the Joker. I've never actually been to UFC, but there's one in a shopping centre or shopping mall, whatever you want to call it, near where I live. And every time we go in there, I'm always like, oh, can we have sushi? And my parents are like, mm, no, because <laughs> no one else likes it but me. So I've never actually tried proper, real, fresh, raw sushi. I've just tried like the cheap supermarket versions. But um, I did manage to buy these from the Yu Sushi place, which were bomb. <laughs> I got some new shirts. These were the induction days for my college and I sat with my friends over lunch and had a chip cob. <laughs> I don't know if any other countries do this but an induction day is where you have a few days just to get used to the um, college building. So you don't actually have lessons, you just have like introductions to where you'll be learning and the teachers and whatever and yeah that's what that was um random doodles that i shouldn't have done but i did anyway and um, college was actually the worst but i'll get to that in a minute random snapchat filter and makeup fail apparently <laughs> oh my gosh okay so i did art and photography at college and one of the things we had to do as like a practice was um, I don't know what they're called but where you're in the red room and you've got to flip the image and everything and we didn't have any pictures so we just said like do whatever with your hands and it's just an experiment so I did that as in a peace sign but of course I didn't realise it gets flipped and it came out like that and he was like oh well that's very expressive why are you swearing and I was like I didn't mean to <laughs> um, if that was my friend she actually did a decent sign and there's me <laughs> Uh, little doodles so yeah as I was saying college really was not for me it made my depression about 100 times worse because I didn't know anyone and I was alone most of the time and I ended up going back to sixth form which is what happens in the next journal so a lot of this is covered up because I just really did not have a great time at all <laughs> I don't know what that is, some kind of email. <laughs> uh, apparently we went to a shop. Uh, there's a shop called JTF over here. I don't think it's even around anymore, but I tried on all the Halloween stuff and that was my Halloween costume for that year. Um, more doodles. That's a pretty accurate representation of how I looked and how I felt at college. Same as that one. <laughs> I think my doodles actually convey a lot about how I'm feeling. Oh, please focus. Okay. More Suicide Squad stuff because I just I love it. I know it's not the best film, but I love the characters, so I don't know. Random questions, I guess. I don't know. Some pictures from Whitby and then I think I've shown this before where my grandpa draws this thing called the plate and he did another one for me so 
Let's look it in there because it's kind of like an infamous in my family. These are the books and anime that I watched and read at this time, apparently. Um, back pocket, and that was the um, map. Oh gosh, this is the map for Pompeii. I mean, look how. Wait, hang on. Look how huge it is. It's upside down. Okay, now look at how huge it is. It's, oh my god, it was rid ridiculous. And on the day we went, it was extremely hot and there's literally no shade whatsoever. Um, we, like there's a, I think this is it. This is like the really famous amphitheater, whatever you call them. We didn't see it because we only explored like this section or something because it was so hot. And we were just like, okay, we're going now, it's too hot, we can't, we can't even function, it's that hot, but again, I will go back one day and I'll explore Pompeii properly, whilst I am of sound mind. Okay, so that was journal number, I think it's 20? Is it 20? Yeah, 20, journal number 20. Um, thank you all for watching, let me know what you think of my videos in the comments if I need to change anything or not talk as fast or talk louder or talk about less or you know just let me know <laughs> um and I'll see you in the next video bye guys